Okay. Okay. Is that 31 or 3 in third? 31. I mean, 31 or 11, I should say. Yeah, 31. Why are some of those numbers green and some? It's in cars, isn't it? Huh? I got you. Put, need to put in a color. It's a little easier to read. Hmm. How did Marcus get in? They push him in. Did he they just stopped Marcus? at that entrance pit road, and the wrecker pushed him in. At Talladega Super Speedway and reminder to join us uh, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time for RPM tonight. Reese Davis will have a wrap-up of our Winston Cup action from Talladega, the Indy Racing Northern Life Series, Texas Highlights, and the Cart FedEx Championship Series from Down Under in Australia. That's 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, RPM tonight. For more, log on to ESPN.com. As we show you our top 15 in our Napa field summary after pit stops. Working the first caution flag today, coming out on lap 103. We'll come back with a green flag in just a moment. <laughs> oh, that's cold. <laughs> Funny, but cold. <laughs> they love him. Well, they love T-Bone like we do. Matt Kenseth and Elliot Sadler coming off pit road. I wonder what that means. Probably topping off a few while they were back near the back. Anyway, that'd be my guess. <laughs> That's a code. Back at Talladega, what a great, what a great crowd. Sherry, press record. So Sherry, you get the message. Press record. He wants to keep this, but this is a great one to watch when he gets home. On the way, he's watching it here live. And take a look at this crowd. Some 170,000 NASCAR fans have stood for much of this one and waved their hats and screamed and applauded. Folks, that's what we're talking about. Look at that sea of people here at Talladega Super Speedway. Let's get out of John Turner.
One update on Ward Burton. I said he had some contact with that left front. He actually, when pulling into his pit during the green flag pit stop, he actually made contact with his rear tire carrier, Mike Brown, and just kind of pushed in that left front fender. But Mike is all right. Uh, no harm, no foul, just a little incidental contact. As the Pontiac safety car makes a hard left-hand turn, Jeff Gordon, who won it here in the spring from 36 starting spot. Folks, if you just joined us, he had to go to the back of the pack and started 40th today. He's our leader. He gets set for the restart. Six different no ball five bonus days. He has won three of them, so he's batting 500. This is the seventh time to get a chance to win a no ball five. But the guy right behind him, Dale Earnhardt, who's trying to go for the lead, has also had six chances. He has never won one. That could change today. Well, Earnhardt has a Jeff Gordon teammate, Jerry Nathan, helping him, and Jeff Gordon has Mike Skinner, Dale Earnhardt's teammate, helping him. It looks like Navy is doing a better job than Skinner right now. Yeah, go there. Yeah, we have seen that the, the low groove and the early going after they put new tires on the cars has been the best groove. And it looks like it's that way again. Well, Alex, as you watch this action shuffle, let's check in on the Jeff Burton pitch with Frankie Stoddard or Bill Weber standing by. Well, I'm here with Frank Stoddard. You got a break. You dodged a bullet, didn't you? Well, we certainly did. I hope we can dodge some more balls happening. The Sitco Super Guy guys were pretty good today. We just been back there riding, and we got a penalty that, um, you know, was, was, was a penalty that was probably right. I mean, the guy, his foot was over the wall, but you got to work with everybody a little bit. He didn't go anywhere. He, he, we, we jumped in the wrong car. The other Sitco car was going down the thing. He didn't, uh, he didn't go over. He didn't make the pit stop any faster. He stayed there until actually our car was in the pit, if you watch the film, which made it even worse for us. Um, I, I, I wish that we had a little bit of a work, you know, working relationship there, but I'm disappointed with that. But we got it back, so I'll, uh, I won't argue as much. Okay, we'll see if the 99 car can work his way all the way back to the front now. All right, start of the crew chief for Jeff Burton. And he just joined us. The caution came out on lap 103, and Burton, Ted Musgrave, and Rick Mast had not pit it, so they were able to put on the caution and the others come back in, and that kept them from possibly losing a lap, or surely losing a lap, so that's why they are still on the lead lap. And then we've got, uh, what, 35 cars still on the lead lap. 35 cars on the lead lap, and they're running within about uh, four seconds of each other, or actually 2.8 seconds of each other. And some of our spotters have told us that the, still that left front tire on the 22 car might be rubbing a little bit still. And then look at Skinner down underneath the yellow line, trying to get by Dale Earnhardt Jr. He does that with some drafting help from Bobby Labonte, our points leader. So Labonte all of a sudden up in the fifth position. Dale Jarrett had gone out to try to pass on the outside, and the whole line went by on the inside. So that, uh, what looked like was going to be a good move, turned out to be a bad move. Here's Mark Martin up there by himself. That was running pretty good up there, making three wide. And there is awesome Bill Elliott trying to work his way back. Elliott is back there, so is John Andretti. And Cheerios Pontiac for the King Richard Petty. And then one, two for so long back 30, 40 laps ago. And all of a sudden, Elliott's car is just not right. I don't know exactly what have happened, what happened, but all of a sudden, anyway, Mike Skinner is hooked up with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And they are trying their best to take the lead. And Earnhardt Sr. and Rusty Wallace trying to hang on as you're taking a look right along right there with our Circuit City on board for points leader Bobby Lamonti. He sits back there in about fifth position. 
I think Bobby, we said earlier that he was riding, which was smart to do for a long time, to sit there and ride, get, get laps behind you. But now we're past the halfway point. Time to go. How about it, John?